Hey, happy holidays, guys. Great to see you. I know we haven't posted in a while. It's just been crazy with work and getting ready for the holidays. And I hope everybody is well. It's great to see you and glad to be back. Holidays creep up on me really, really fast. And sometimes it gets nuts and I'm out of time. I don't know what to buy anybody. I have no ideas and it's terrible. So what do we do? Buy gift cards? Yeah, you can do that. But I think there's other options too. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you something awesome. We're going to make something from scratch here in the kitchen. It is so easy to do. It's an awesome dessert. It's homemade fudge. It's going to be chocolate, butterscotch, and peanut butter. It is so easy to do. Oh, and we're also going to mix in a little marshmallow too. I forgot. You're going to love it. And at the end, we're going to present it and we're going to wrap it up and it makes a fantastic gift. And I am so stoked to show you guys how to do it right now. So let's go. In the first pan, let's add a quarter cup each of chocolate chips and butterscotch chips. One teaspoon of butter. Roughly four ounces of sweetened condensed milk. And that's it for that pan. In the second pan, add 10 ounces of peanut butter chips. That's roughly one bag. 10 ounces of the remaining sweetened condensed milk. This is a 14 ounce can. So get that all in there. We want a tish of salt and two tablespoons of butter. Before we proceed, guys, I have an eight by eight aluminum pan here that I've lined with foil. By all means, use glass if you have, and make sure that you have your marshmallow cream mixture ready to go. Let's fire up the stove, guys. I'm gonna keep these on low, and we're just gonna melt these over a very low temperature. So over low heat, all this is gonna melt. That butter is gonna incorporate with that condensed milk. And as you can see, it's looking Beautiful and ribbony and delicious. Yeah. Do the same for the chocolate butterscotch mixture. Using a spoon, just start dolloping the melted peanut butter mixture evenly throughout. Next up, we're gonna add some marshmallow cream, just like dotted about. And this stuff is super sticky, so you're really just gonna have to use your fingers. There's no other way. Next up, start pouring the remaining chocolate all over the top. Using the back of a stick, a knife, or a toothpick, just start swirling this all together. Any which direction you choose to make it look pretty. All you need to do now is place this in the refrigerator for one to one and a half hours and let it set. Once the fudge is completely cooled, Grab yourself a cutting board and we're just going to flip this over and hopefully remove the foil intact. Let's cut this into 16 pieces. So, one, two, three, four slices evenly. Turn it around and then four more slices. And it's going to give us 16 almost perfectly even pieces. Voila. So let's turn the fudge into an awesome gift now. I have an 8-inch cake round and I have some clear green cellophane. I got this at Michael's Arts and Crafts. You can pretty much pick this up at any arts and crafts store. And I'm just going to start taking the fudge. I'm going to arrange it in the middle of the cake round. And I'm going to start building it up like a pyramid. Give it some nice height, as so. And then we're just gonna start wrapping it with the cellophane. Let's put together a nice pretty package. I'm gonna grab the corners of the cellophane. I'm gonna bring them to the top on each side. Bring it together with one hand and just kind of crimp it like so. Have a nice pretty decorative ribbon on hand. I chose red because I think it's going to look really slamming for the holidays. And basically, we're just going to make a nice little knot and a bow. So let me turn that around for you so you can see that. And we can just kind of like lay that out. We got some polka dots and some stripes. And I think that looks awesome. 
I don't know about you guys, but I would love to receive this for the holiday season from a family or uh, a loved one versus, you know, like gift cards, sweaters and shirts that don't fit. You know who you are. I'm not going to go any further, but definitely try this at home because it's an amazing recipe and your friends and family are absolutely going to love it. And it goes to show it's not going to break the bank and it is easy to do. If you have any cool recipes or things that you do arts and crafts wise, you know, for the holidays, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear about it. I'm wishing you guys a happy and safe holiday season. And I will catch you soon.